it's just horrible for you to be independent. It's just horrible for you to be strong. It's just horrible for you to be resilient. And, you know, maybe you can't go to anyone for help. So you have to be, I get it. I typically see black women portrayed in one or two ways. We're usually portrayed as, you know, usually a sex symbol in, you know, music and things like that. Or we are this strong, independent black woman. Because I'm I'm strong, I'm good, I'm independent, I got it, I'm a hustler, this, this, and that. I don't need no help. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know, why isn't anyone asking me if I'm okay? You know, no one checking on me. Because you are putting up this persona that, I mean, that's what's reading off to everyone. You shouldn't be that surprised when that is your reaction. It takes away my ability to be soft and to be vulnerable. And I feel like I have to be strong. If you made it over here, the universe definitely sent you. So shout out to us for coming together and cheers to the journey. It's never too late to become a new subscriber. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you dip. Return subscribers. Hey y'all. And we're just gonna jump right into this video. Okay, so boom. Y'all might hate me for this one, but we gotta talk about it, y'all. We got to talk about it. We gotta talk about it. So looking at just the black woman today and just the black culture today, I personally cannot say that I am 100% proud and confident with the image that we are portraying as a whole, not as individuals, not too much. Don't, don't, don't come at me too much. Not as individuals, but just as a whole. Why I say this is because in my personal opinion, just looking at the strong, independent black woman persona and the hip hop culture, you know, what's being portrayed in music and just the media and things like that about just what the black woman is and should be is not a hundred percent how I see myself and how I would want to identify and how I would want my, you know, future daughter to identify. So with that being said, I typically see black women portrayed in one or two ways. We're usually portrayed as, you know, usually a sex symbol in, you know, music and things like that. Or we are this strong, independent black woman. Now, again, as I state in all my videos, the purpose of these videos is just to bring awareness. I'm not telling you that something is right or something is wrong. It's just bringing awareness, sharing my opinion on just how I view things from my perspective and just for us as a whole to just be aware of it. And if it's working for you, great. If not, just being aware of what works, what doesn't work, and just starting to notice. And just taking accountability if you feel that you contribute to this you know, narrative or these images or this um, lifestyle. How can you, you know, not only bring awareness, but just change it and adjust it to paint an image that's more suitable and flavorful for not only you as an individual, but just as black woman as a whole. So just jumping right into my challenges, my personal. So I, that was my disclaimer, okay? If you're still here, you're still rocking with me. I appreciate y'all. Uh, but just jumping right into my challenges with it, my personal challenges with it. Number one, I feel like it's hard when, you know, you take on the strong, independent black woman persona. It's, it, you know, it is liberating is to say, you know, just to acknowledge that, you know, black women are strong. We are, um, we should be fearless or not. Nah. See, I can't even say it <laughs> without, because it doesn't empower me. It might empower you, but it doesn't empower me. And why it doesn't empower me is because number one is that I feel like it takes away my ability to be soft and to be vulnerable. And I feel like I have to be strong and I have to be resilient at all times and independent and can't I can't ask for help. And if I do ask for help, it's like, I, I kind of feel like ashamed to ask for help. Like, no, 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 I got it, I'm, you know, I'm good. So it kind of limits my confidence in asking for help when I know that, hey, you know, having some help could benefit me, but because, um, you know, I'm, I'm strong, I'm independent, you know, I'm fearless, I could do it by myself. Like having that thought in the back of my head sometimes gets in the way of, you know, me being able to break down, be soft, ask for help, 
cry if I need to cry. So that's that's like my number one, like my huge challenge with just that persona is that I feel like I always have to be strong. There's nothing wrong with any of these things. It's okay to be strong. It's okay to be independent. It's okay to be resilient. It's just at the same time, like I said, just knowing that it's also okay to be soft, to be vulnerable, to cry, to ask for help without feeling like you have to. At the end of the day, you are a woman first. And, you know, being soft and being feminine, being vulnerable, that is, you know, what makes being nurturing is a part of what makes a woman a woman. You can be strong in different ways. You know, being strong and resilient could just be being strong enough to know, you know, I'm not okay. Being confident enough to know, you know, I can still be independent, but, you know, I with me being independent there's a time and place for you know when i can ask for help when i can ask for feedback that makes you strong that makes you you know that helps you know sustain and increase your independence and things like that and and, and still with that independence sometimes i develop or have noticed that i've developed some resentment to you know family or friends because i'm i'm strong and you know i'm i'm good i'm independent i got it i'm a hustler this this and that i don't need no help but in the back of my mind i'm like you know, why isn't anyone asking me if I'm okay? Why isn't, you know, no one checking on me? Why can't I get help? Why is no one helping me? But then on this side, it's like, because Alexis, you are putting up this persona that, I mean, that's what's reading off to everyone. So everyone's thinking you're okay, you're fine. You don't need no help. You know, she's good. She's always good. So you have to just be aware that of that persona that you're portraying and that you shouldn't be that surprised when that is your reaction or that is your um not reaction but when that is when those are your experiences when you are feeling like oh I, I'm, it's just me but because that and, and you know I can't ask for help and I, I do it by myself it's because you're putting that out into the world that's what people are reading about you that's how they're seeing you so of course they're not going to ask you for help of course they're not gonna you know assume that something's wrong or even check on you is that you know basically how you want to be seen and i'm gonna jump into that i'm not gonna jump too far ahead it just basically gives off just mask overly masculine energy how are you allowing your masculine partner or a masculine partner or male figure where do they fit in if you already have that down packed what is the point like where does he fit in at like how where, where, where does he come in at if you got that down you're independent you're this you're that i'm strong da, 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 da. where does he come in and how can he fit into that picture naturally and men are supposed to you know carry that masculine energy that you know strength that you know provider mind frame that for the most part, you know, I got it. I can, you know, take care of mine and my family. Like they're supposed to come in with that energy. So if you're already coming in with that energy, basically just where does he fit? Just being mindful of that, y'all. I'm trying to like tiptoe around how to place my words because I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying it's just horrible for you to be independent. It's just horrible for you to be strong. It's just horrible for you to be resilient. And, you know, maybe you can't go to anyone for help. So you have to be, I get it. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm that. I, I, trust me, I'm not saying that at all. Um, there's other things that play into why you feel like you have to be strong and, you know, why you're independent and why you have to do things on your own. I get it. I'm not saying that is terrible. Please don't. I'm not saying that at all. Just asking yourself, does this persona, this strong, independent black woman persona, this you know does that persona truly capture who you are and how you want to be seen and basically just who you want to be like does that capture is that who you are if that is who you are then i'm not talking to you disregard everything that i just said in the video this video is not directed to you if it does not however just asking yourself that question is it blocking your blessings your opportunities um your ability to attract certain um, opportunities, certain, you know, people, certain things, is it blocking that? And what I mean by that, like I was stating, hold on y'all, there's like hair on me or something. Are you attracting the type of men, for an example, that you want to attract by being this way? Are you attracting the right opportunities in the workplace? Are you attracting the right friends? Like, cause you're so, you know, strong and independent, you might be working on a project that, 
could use another person's perspective or you could get further if you ask for help but because you are saying nope i'm good i'm independent i'm gonna figure out on my own i got it like is that blocking your blessings is that blocking opportunities for you is it making you unable to listen to feedback when people are saying you know giving you feedback with things maybe it's about your how you know maybe you said something wrong someone's trying to tell you hey i didn't like the way and you're just so defensive and strong and you know i don't need to hear i'm good like just asking yourself is it blocking your opportunities your blessings is it you know blocking you from being in certain rooms just by having this thinking that you have to have this persona and you know be and act a certain way is it actually helping you is it benefiting you another question which is a question i've asked myself recently does this allow you to be vulnerable and cry as a like and just let it just let loose and let go from time to time. Crying is healthy. Being vulnerable is healthy. Being soft is healthy. Is that allowing you to truly be able to do that when you need to do that? Being vulnerable, meaning asking for help when you need to. Crying when you need to. Telling somebody the truth or saying, hey, this is how you made me feel in a healthy way when you need to. Sticking up for yourself when you need to. Just being vulnerable. Trying new things. Being vulnerable to say, you know what, I don't, I may not know what I'm doing, but let me try it anyway. Like, is that persona allowing you to be vulnerable when it is time to be vulnerable and strong when it is time to be strong like are you able to differentiate the two when it is time lastly kind of similar to number one is it serving you just as a whole like is this persona serving you as a whole are you getting to where you need to be as a whole are you where you want to be as a whole like just the way that you carry yourself as a whole is that beneficial to you is it serving you is it are you is it intentional it's just something that i'm reflecting on constantly as i get older who 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 is alexis and just growing it's a part of you know growing it's a part of my healing journey my self-healing journey is a part of my trauma these are just my personal experiences and my attempt to bring awareness to other people who are battling with just you know who they are identity who they want to be who they how they want to be seen and just self-improvement as a whole i mean you don't necessarily have to be battling with identity and things like that but just how do as life continues how do i want to be seen how do i want to be portrayed in the world yes you guys thanks for rocking with me thanks for vibing with me i hope y'all don't come at me too much i appreciate y'all and i will see y'all in the next video thanks guys the best way to learn is by experience